Robinson picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they've got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit, as you mentioned, they're moving the ball well. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got to look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little Let's bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. They'll start the drive with a carry by Bell. Now Bell hit. He lost the football. And the Cardinals have got it going the other way. And they bring this one back. A scoop and score. A fumble recovery touchdown for Arizona. Even the great ones, some of the best, they're not immune to the fumble, and here it really hurts them. If the ball gets away from any runner's body, that's when the defense pokes at it, swipes at it, swats at it, and finds a way to create a big play for themselves. Gonzalez good on the extra point, and the lead grows to 10 0. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Ragazzi, andate a dormire, per favore. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. So that means they have to change up what they're doing. And for some teams, it's a change in tempo, usually moving it to more up-tempo type of an offense just to try and change their fortunes right now. What they've been doing so far isn't working. Maybe they'll do that. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Darnold off the play fake to Bell. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Shotgun, here's Darnold. Looking for Mims, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Byron Murphy, and he will score. Touchdown, Cardinals. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game, and now this time an interception return for another score. He's got it, and it's 17-0. 
And that, Alma, Anita e Amanda A letto Forza Sono le 10 quasi eh. Forza Dai papà Offense taking over for their next possession. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and ten. Fresh off the pick six, it's Darnold. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. A nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Dai, Anita, forza. Amanda dov'è? Anita e Alma. Ragazzi, se io mi alzo, poi... Guarda. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. He'll air this one out for Mims. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Yeah, this passing game, this whole offense really didn't show up in the loss last week, and it hasn't started all that great here either. Yeah, and they can't let that incompletion become an uh-oh moment. Like, oh boy, here we go again, just like last week. Each game is its own entity, treated as such. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. Shotgun, it's a give to Bell. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Now, look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that Mamma same yeah. mistake, and they've taken care of that early. Second down now. It's Bell. And he's going to be stopped up just short of the first down at the Cardinals 38. 17 nothing. Our score after one. 17. Amanda, andiamo a letto. Anita! Basta! 
a letto, forza, Amanda vai su Give to Bell. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. He's taken down. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. What an off the. Amore, adesso non posso. Vai su, poi poi ti viene a dare il bacetto. Te le sei messe le mutandine per la notte? Poi papà viene, vai su, vai. Mettiti a letto e papà ti viene a dare un bel baciotto. Non lo vuoi il baciotto da papà? Second and five now. Darnold. Open man is Denzel Mills. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 17-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. 17-yard line. I really like this youngster coming out of Baylor, partner, because he has the ability to get deep with his speed. Long strider. You love him on outside routes. But what I really liked about him is the ability to go up and get the football. Obviously, the Jets were looking to replace Robbie Anderson. I think they've got a really skilled target here for their young quarterback, Sam Darnold. Darnold from the red zone now. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Devondre Campbell flies in to blow that play up. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They are not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. Throwing on second and long. Darnold caught here by Griffin. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. The Jets on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and four. To throw is Darnold. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Good contain. No gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. So unable to get any yardage at all off of the screen there on third down. And ordinarily on third down, that's when you want to bring pressure. You get all your guys who want to get after the quarterback. But how about the patience they showed? Read the play, snuffed it out, and made a nice stop. So a dozen plays on that drive CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. And a nice return sets them up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. Alive. I feel like well, I feel like a prince, I feel like myself. I'm loaded with bills. 
Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. The former third overall pick, Quinn and Williams there to bring him down. I don't know about you, but if I'm the offensive line coach right now, I'm having an absolute fit. This team that they're going against has three sacks, yet they rank dead last in the league in sacks coming into this game. Maybe overlooked them a little bit? Could be. I, I don't know if it's the scheme. I don't know if they've just gotten fortunate along the way. I have no real great answer for it, but we're seeing something you don't often see. Murray with a third and long. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Crowder now to return. A good kick that time, but also a pretty good 15-yard return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. They're able to slither by. Three yards the gain there, second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles where he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Second down, it's Bell. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. Jordan Hicks. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. The Jets on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. The Jets on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. They're up against a third and one situation. but not before picking up the first. Good. Just enough to get the first down there with a one-yard pickup. 
Meanwhile, taking a look at what's going on in KC. It's the Chiefs that have jumped out to the early lead against the Raiders. That one tight to this point, and you'd have to imagine it'll stay tight throughout. down it's Darnold able to connect with Mims seven yards the pickup on the pitch and catch fired that one in there able to make connection on a nice in route with those faster passes and they're going that fast any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection if you miss might be bigger and lead to an interception yeah and the deflection works both ways maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well but a moot point there is they were able to connect on second down, it's Bell. And he's going to be stopped up just short of the first down at the Cardinals 44. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Carry there by Le'Veon Bell. And he's just trying to get back to the form he exhibited in Pittsburgh when he's one of the top backs in the NFL. In 2019, though, no games over 100 yards rushing and only three games with 20 or more carries. The more he touches it, the more effective he is. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. They'll fake the handoff. Now Darnold. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 25. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They've played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Shotgun now for Murray. Going deep for Hopkins. That's caught at the 25. Murray it's a gain of 35. Andre Big plays are starting to become the trend Andre here in this first 35. half, and everything that they've tried the has worked. And there's another example right there. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Out of the gun, they give to Freeman. They'll get him to the ground at the 20 following a pickup of four. He's brought that call out. makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Operating from the gun, Murray. 
And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. Here's first and goal. And gosh, points here. A chance maybe to put this thing away before halftime. He gets forward for about three yards. Now let's check on the call. That one whistled against a big right tackle. You'd think being able to fire out and block, it'd be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty, but it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. From the gun, Murray. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Andy Isabella, his second touchdown on the season. And the Cardinals push further out in front. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. 25 yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock down and go to the locker room. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. I think Le'Veon Bell is now recognized mainly for his hesitation move, but he makes so many people miss. I think that's what makes him an elite runner in this league. He's been doing that since high school when he was a Groveport Cruiser in Ohio and on to Michigan State and now into the National Football League. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. On play action, it's Murray. They'll roll him out right. And this one caught by Max Williams. 
And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now a handoff, it's Freeman. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Again, they'll run with Freeman. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 yards there and a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. This is Freeman on first and 10. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Two yards the loss, second and 12. It's a loss. The defense was ready for the run pass option, diagnosed it perfectly. Not only did they stack him up at the point of attack, but he was met by a host of light colored jerseys. Play fake. Murray. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And Hopkins has got it. Touchdown, Arizona. Number 10, DeAndre, DeAndre Hopkins. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Cardinals will extend their lead. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Makes the score Cardinals 31. Jets three. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Jets take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. That's the reason we ball for. Circle round twice for the encore. You know, you know. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Denzel Mims, the rookie, the intended receiver there. That'll bring up second down. Crowder, 78 catches, 833 yards, and six touchdowns in 2019. Operates very well out of the slot. One of the niftier receivers in the league. Watch the twins. Watch the twins. Tight door, tight door, tight door. On first and ten, Darnold. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Denzel Mims that time. But it's going to be second down. Well, coming into this one, we expected that this offense would have trouble with this defense. And that's exactly the way that this game has gone. Pressure in his face. 
Coverage downfield has been tight. That led to another incompletion. This defense, they're exactly who we thought they were coming into this one. Second down and 10, Darnold. He's going to find his tight end, that's Chris Herndon. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 41-yard line. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. 10 at the 41-yard line. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. It's Crowder. 20. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. And yes, they want the points. So they will decline the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling over what the penalty would do? I don't even know them? why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. And he's able to put it through. Makes the score Cardinals 31, Jets 10. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. to go with their next drive and at the line the Cardinal offense still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and ten Murray now on first down and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. A quick throw complete out to Isabella. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. 12 yards there and a first down. Gain of 12. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And now a 10th carry for Freeman. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. On the handoff. Pierre Desir in on the stop. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. The first down run got five. Here's second and five.
From the gun, Murray. They'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. And there's Kyler Murray being sacked, and in his first year in the league, surprising to a lot of people, he was the most sacked quarterback, went down 48 times. And when you think about the mobility that he possesses, that really does surprise people because they think they can get out of everything. But so often, those young guys who can move around a lot, they keep plays alive so long that sometimes they actually get trapped. Defenses are going to test him and continue to test him. I think he's got something for them as he continues to move forward. Throwing on third and long. Murray, and he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 45-yard line. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45 yard line. Jet 53, jet 53, here we go, here we go, here we go. Throwing now is Murray. And the catch made by Hopkins. Pass. Seven yards, the pick up there. It's well, even I can figure out that DeAndre Hopkins is clearly one of the best receivers in the game. Over the last three seasons, over 1,100 yards in each season. And don't forget, defenses have been keying on him each and every snap. This guy produces no matter what the situation, no matter what the coverage, just find him and get him the football. Able to get seven on that first down pass play, second and three. Play action. Now it's Murray. Out to his left. He's going to take off with it. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. And there's the beauty of Kyler Murray, because we all know he can get it done through the air. Terrific right arm, and nowadays we don't even talk about his height anymore. He's shown that he can see downfield and make throws, but he also possesses wide receiver speed. He can call his own number or scramble and turn it into a big play as well. Kyler Murray, a dual threat at the quarterback position. The end of the third Back now here on EA Sports. 31. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. So first and 10 now from the 30. Solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Ashton Davis. On I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. 50 seconds to mark. 50 seconds to mark. I got it, I got it. They fake the handoff. Now Murray. That is caught inside the five. Murray's and he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Max Williams, his first touchdown on the year. And the Cardinals now adding on to their lead. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. 38, Jets 10. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. 
The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And you hate to see this for them, but they're looking at yet another loss to begin this season. Things really going from bad to worse as they trail here starting this drive first and 10 in the fourth quarter. Now this is Le'Veon Bell with a reception. And he'll be up in it at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Three yards the gain there, second down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Play fake to Bell. He'll air this one out for Mims. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. The Jets on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and seven. And the throw there going to be incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Here's the Jets punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And no return on this one as that kicks out of bounds, so they'll start just outside of their own 30-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row. They were blowouts, and in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they, they will take them out, but for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. Now on first down, Drake again. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. game and ball security hasn't been an issue until that point yeah and let's face it when he's going to carry the ball that many times he becomes more and more of a target for the defense knowing that he's going to be the primary guy they'll just send more and more players towards him trying to make sure they knock the ball free So following the fumble recovery, here's Darnold. Airing one out for Crowder. And Darnold going to be intercepted. 
intercepted for the third time. Buda Baker with a pick. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance, he's helping his team in a huge way. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. And he gets this all the way inside the Jets 20 into the red zone. Pickup of 66 yards. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era. We think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. You're not ready. You're not ready. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. That's complete, right around the eight. Complete and he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. This is Freeman, and he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. First Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. That's going to be caught by Kirk for a Cardinals touchdown. Christian Kirk. Christian Kirk, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Cardinals add on. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. 25-yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. On second and ten, Darnold. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. here on third down, Darnold. And that is incomplete. I like what they tried to do there. Tried to hit him with something quick, get the ball in his hands, and hope he can make some yards after the catch and pick up a first down. Weren't able to do so on that play. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. 
And not much happening there, not much at all. They'll get to it and down it, but at the 35-yard line. Take over first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now the card's going to call another timeout. Their second. That's going to leave. Just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. On first down, Drake. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. He's Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They stay on the ground and drain. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker. And now it's third down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The Cardinals on third down, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and three. Now the first carry for Chase Edmonds. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. It's a first down following a gain of three. And the Cardinal first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. Only on the keeper. And they take a knee. Humbly on the keeper. So first and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. And they will take a knee here. Well, it certainly didn't appear to be fired up about their options throwing the football. So, to me, this seems like a case of just kind of taking their medicine there, run the ball, see if they could pick up something. Instead, they were thrown for a loss. Thank you. 
Here's Andy Lee now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. Today's a big offensive explosion helped lead.